Google Drive is probably one of the more popular Google apps since most people who use Google tools uh, will use Google Drive to store files and things like that. But it also may be one of the most misunderstood apps. In today's video, I'd like to walk you through the different menu options on the left to help clarify what exactly these menu items do and what they mean. To begin, the New button will allow you to create new folders uh, or Google Docs as well as create uh, or upload files or other folders from somewhere else where you may have organized files. So if you want to add a new file or create a new file, uh, you can do that by clicking on the New button. When you work on things, Google determines how often and how frequently you work on them and helps determine uh, whether or not that might be considered a priority file. So if you click on priority, it will show you the files that it thinks you're most interested in, use or update the most frequently, that type of thing. Uh, then you have like your normal Google Drive. All right, this will have all of your folders, your files, things like that. All of the ones that you own, which is significant. Uh, so there's two different ways you can have access to files in Google Drive. You can either be the owner or you can have a file or folder shared with you. And those are different. Your files and folders will show up in my drive. You can organize it with folders and things like that. Uh, you can even color code folders if you want to do that. You can star folders, which is another way to make uh, Google Drive understand that you consider that file or folder to be important. Shared drives are drive spaces that you uh, share with coworkers or somebody else in a different organization. Uh, these can be a little bit tricky to use. Uh, the sharing settings within shared drives are very strict. So if you made like a Google form inside a shared drive, don't expect people who don't have access to that shared drive to be able to fill out that form. Uh, so shared drives are really only used when the people who have access to the drive are the only people who would need access to anything in the drive. Uh, shared with me, these would be files that are owned by somebody else but you have access to via sharing rights or something like that. This may be uh, the number one source for confusion. You get a file from uh, the principal and they share it with you and you, you're using it and then some time goes by, you haven't used it in a while, you go back to Google Drive, you're searching for it, you can't find it, it's not there, you thought you knew where it was. Uh, if you are not the owner, there's a good chance that the reason you're not finding that file is because you're not checking the shared with me part of that menu. If you click on the shared with me part, you'll get access to the files that are owned by somebody else uh, and shared with you that you will have access to and it may be easier for you to find them there. Uh, in addition, uh, any files that you've worked on recently, if you click on recent, uh, you'll see a list of all the files that you, re you know, the most recent ones you worked on will be at the top and then it will work its way down. Uh, today I opened this file last week, uh, even though it says earlier this year, it really was just last week uh, for many of these. Um, things I worked on recently, so, oh, I know I was just working on this last week, I never finished it, uh, I can't find it click on recent and there's a good chance you'll find it there. Uh, you can star files in folders and what that does is that's just another way to let Google Drive know that you think that file or folder is important. Uh, in other words, it's so important you would like to be able to sift through everything that is not important and quickly identify where that file or folder may be. So if you get in the habit of starring files in folders and at least not overdoing it, uh, you should be able to narrow down what you're looking at in Google Drive to help you find the file or folder uh, that you are looking for. And that is uh, a good way to understand how the menu on the left of Google Drive will work for you.